Martini, where's it at? Where's it at? Is it in this? You sure? Where? Where's it at? Where's it at? Is it sure? Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Me? I'm doing pretty good. Um, the babies have got a little bit of cabin fever. And uh, they've been pushing me and pushing me, trying to get me to go down to the, to the shop down there so they can see if there are any chipmunks or ground squirrels. So uh, let's head down there for a minute. Okay, come on, everybody. Let's walk down to the shop. This way, May Mays. No May Mays. May Mays. Baby May Mays. I saw him too. Come on over here. I saw a squirrel. No, May Mays. Baby May Mays. Baby May Mays. You come here. Darn it. And I see him. Stay tucked. Come on over here. Stay. Come here, Tuck. Good boy. Okay, stay. Stay, Tucker. Stay, Martini. Stay, baby May Mays. Y'all stay. Y'all watch this, guys. Y'all stay. Yo. <laughs> I got good babies. Martini, where's it at? Where's it at? Is it in this? You sure? Where? Where's it at? Where's it at? Is he sure? You sure? That's metal, baby. Goodness, what a hunter. Daddy, there's one in there. Get it. Oh, my goodness. You sure? No, baby. There ain't one hiding in it. We caught, we caught one in there a long time ago. There's not one in there now. There is, too. You just don't want to get it out. <laughs> Woo. You're a good hunter, Martini. It kind of smells like one's in there, Martini. Tucker, I just showed her. Yeah, Tucker, he just showed her. Come on, Martinis. Let's go home. I didn't catch nothing, Daddy. Y'all hadn't caught nothing in a long time. But y'all are keeping the chipmunk scared away. And that's the next best thing. Come on, Tuck. Come on, baby May May. Let's go home. Back up here at the tiny cabin. Got some wood cut to put on top of the blocks. But we believe we're going to hire somebody to uh, come up here and get this thing level. We need a little bit of help. It's my buddy's four-wheel drive Honda Rancher. We're going to start marking the studs in there to trail to do the wiring. That's where his little dog rides. This dog's name's Charlie. Where you at, Charlie? You in here with your daddy? Hey, Charlie. Charlie is a Yorkie, too. He was a rescue. 
Well, he's a stray. They think he's a Yorkie. What say you? They're all good friends. Martini likes him. Baby May May's in love with him. Here's Charlie and his uh, modified milk carton. This is where he likes to ride on the, the Honda Rancher here. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for visiting, Charlie. You sweet boy. Yes, what do you think? Everybody think he's a Yorkie? I think he's a Yorkie. Yeah, they're all just a little bit different. He's a good boy. All right, we'll see you. We'll see you. You guys are so good. See, they're not supposed to leave and jump off and jump outside without me going first and then letting them. All right. So, my friend here, we've been doing a little wire planting and uh, figuring where we're going to put the electrical. Looks like the breaker box is going to go here. I got to get in here with my drill and drill holes for the wires to get through these studs. And uh, we. I tell you, I'm enjoying the front porch so much, just like it is. Uh, I'm going to hold off putting in a door right here for now. I just, uh, I don't think I need it. So, if that's the case, of course, I don't watch TV, but this is a perfect place for a TV. So, we're going to put a, an outlet up here, just in case. We're going to go through this right here, put a floodlight on the outside. My queen bed's going to fit in this corner. That's east, behind me's west, so my head will be facing east when I sleep. Put my toilet out here, got it out of the RV. That's nice. Give me a little bit more room inside the RV. And then uh, I'm going to have a fluorescent light above the kitchen sink. The uh, outlet here, there, here, because my kitchen will probably most likely be an L shape. And uh, we're going to put some floodlights on the outside of these posts, one on each corner. So these will have two lights on each one, two lights on that one, but in the back, It'll have three bulbs facing that way. It'll give me plenty of light. That way when we go out to potty at night, won't nothing sneak up on us. If it does, Dad, you know what I'll do? You'll bite them? I might run. <laughs> you ain't right. <laughs> I haven't seen you run yet. I'll bite him if he won't. Thank you, baby May Mays. <laughs> <laughs> you don't miss nothing, do you? I don't miss anything. <laughs> so, um, the other day, me and the babies, we had been out in the Wolf Wolf Wagon, been driving for several hours, and we run across this bag laying right in the middle of the road. Somebody must have just dropped it. And on the inside... It's like a military bag. I already opened it. But there's a, a red sleeping bag on the inside. And uh, it's like, okay, well, I just opened the door and threw it in, kept driving before I got it run over, you know, stopping in the middle of the road. And then I found this name on the bag Luke Sadler. So I got on the internet looking for a Luke Sadler because I had a name but didn't have a telephone number. And I was able to find like four, you know, just like Kevin Appling. There's more than one Luke Sadler. There's more than one Kevin Appling. Um, why do I say that? Because there was a Kevin Appling that stomped a mud hole in this poor girl back in 1999 in Georgia. And uh, all this old life trash trying to sell it that it was me. It wasn't me. 
I've done a lot worse than that. And I'd claim it if it was. Sorry, guys. Wasn't me. But anyway, back to Luke Sadler. So I got on the internet and started looking. And I found one. I found a Luke Sadler over in Arizona. He works for a waste management company. I left a message on his phone. I can't get him. So if any of you guys know Luke Sadler, Camper Van Kevin's got his sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, he needs to come get it. We don't have the room. Baby, we have enough room now. Just saying. My wire and whatnot. My Max Air vent cover came in today. This is the 38 bucks. Goes, uh, it's the very last one up here on top of Miss Gypsy. I climbed up the ladder and uh, just put my put my hand on it to give a little boost to get up. And it's not even a year old. And that sucker was brittle and busted. Couldn't believe it. I wouldn't have done it on an old one, like five or six years old, I would expect. But it was only a year old. And it was already brittle. So I had to buy another one. Let's go ahead and get this stuff inside the tiny cabin. Okay. Okay, well, that doesn't look like $300, does it? <laughs> That's what it takes, and that's all right. Do it right the first time, do it once. Got the Max Air cover right here. May wait till it not quite as sunny. Let me show you that thing. Kind of warm up here today. Got the mini split going, keeping uh, Miss Gypsy nice and cool on the inside. So yeah, I climbed up here on top of the RV and uh, I just put my hand right there. My hand went right through it. I was shocked. You know, I guess being a year out in the desert is like being five years in Georgia with the amount of sunshine. So I'll get that put on here a little bit. This 1280 watts of uh, solar brought in 1440 watts the other day. That one don't count. These four big ones. 1280 watts brought in 1440. I was shocked. Another view of the tiny cabin. So the rest of the day, we'll be putting that cover on. It's only got four little uh, taps on on it to put it on. It's no big deal. And then uh, got to get in here and start drilling some holes. I don't think that's y'all don't want to see me drill holes in two before studs, y'all. Kind of know what that already looks like. So more or less, just a little update video here from the RV base camp in New Mexico. Yeah, this is a good place to end the video. Good as any. So I'm going to end it where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Oh yeah. If you missed my live stream the other day, missed my shave. Smooth as a baby's butt. All right, gotta go. Gotta get to work. Bye. I didn't catch nothing daddy y'all hadn't caught nothing in a long time but y'all are keeping the chipmunk scared away and that's the next best thing come on tuck come on baby may let's go home <laughs>